The Final Fantasy XV universe is already pretty expansive as it is, with an anime series, a CGI movie, mobile titles and downloadable content, and it just got even more expansive with the announcement of Monster of the Deep Final Fantasy XV, a new VR fishing experience that surfaced in the Sony press conference. But they aren't done there, as according to Ryo Matsuno, the global brand manager for Business Division 2, they are planning to expand it even further, and we aren't just talking about one property here either. Matsuno was speaking to Kaori Takasui and Matt Kishimoto during the Final Fantasy XV Universe segment on the Square Enix Presents livestream, and after running through all the known properties within the universe, Matsuno said, But you know, if you think this is a lot, there's actually still a lot more. Kaori then asked, well, like what? To which Matsuno replied, Well, we can't re-announce really what at this point as we've announced plenty for this event, but I would say people should tune into Gamescom in August because we're going to have a couple more things added to this family. Matsuno also then confirmed that he would likely be at the event. Now one of the things I think we're all confident they're going to announce officially at Gamescom with some sort of teaser will be episode Ignis, which they didn't want to talk about at all during E3. And given the release plan, where we've seen episode Gladiolus released at the end of March and episode Prompto released at the end of June, it's somewhat safe to assume we'll see episode Ignis at the end of September. Announcing episode Ignis in August at Gamescom therefore does make sense, before a bigger reveal at the Tokyo Game Show, like we've seen here with episode Prompto at E3 only a couple of weeks before its release. Outside of that, who knows what they have planned? I mean, we all knew they were working on something for the PlayStation VR, but after what they showed last year, I don't think anyone expected it to be a VR fishing experience. I mean, I could easily list a load of things I'd want it to be, or things I think they are more likely to announce, and honestly, I think we all could. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure at this point that most of them would just be complete shots in the dark. I could also quite happily list things I wouldn't want it to be, like more mobile titles. But I think one thing's for sure though, whether it's good or bad, Square Enix definitely know how to keep us guessing when it comes to this kind of stuff. I mean, are you guys surprised that there's still more properties unannounced within the Final Fantasy XV universe? And as a somewhat follow-up, are you still excited to see more additional properties? Or would you prefer they just focus on expanding the actual core offering, of course starting with a lot of the content they proposed in the survey that's currently embedded into the game? Let us know in the comments below, and of course if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe! And if you'd like to support our channel, please be sure to head over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These amazing folks have already done so, so why not join them? Okay, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you've been enjoying our E3 coverage. This is Daryl, signing out. I'll see you next time.